So let's predict the products for the reaction of Na plus Cl2. So to do this, the first thing that we really need to recognize is that we have one, two different atoms coming together. So it's probably going to be a combination reaction. So we could just write this NaCl as our product here, but then we really need to think about the charge because we have a metal and a nonmetal. It's going to be an ionic compound. So on the periodic table, you can look at charge here. Sodium, that's in group one. So sodium's right here. That's going to be one plus. And chlorine, that'll form one minus ions. So we know the charge. And you can see the plus and the minus, they balance out. So we have a neutral compound. So NaCl, that is correct. NaCl, that's probably going to be a solid since it's an ionic compound. And that's really it. We predicted the products. This equation isn't balanced because we have two chlorines here and one here. So let's put a two here. Gives us two chlorines. Now we have two sodiums. Put a two here. So it's balanced. That's the balanced equation. The key to predicting this reaction, you have two different atoms. So they're probably going to come together in a synthesis or a combination reaction to give you one thing. Then you got to worry about the charge, though, since it's an ionic compound. This is Dr. B predicting the products of Na plus Cl2. You end up with NaCl. Thanks for watching.